Six, I was molested by my mum's friend who was at the house a lot. So my mum was an alcoholic. Uh, and then... <sighs> sorry. Don't be uh, sorry. Yeah, so that happened at six. And then I was sent to Africa to learn discipline. Um, and then I was sent back. Seven, I started smoking. Eight, I started dealing drugs. Selling drugs? Selling drugs, yeah. <laughs> An older person told me that they wouldn't stop a kid on a bike, so I'd ride around with my football. And then underneath, I'd have the drugs. And, uh, yeah. and so that was a... Eleven, I was hung off a bridge. By who? Uh, a guy from the next estate, a man. And then, yeah, twelve, I was adopted. So, and from then, it was like I was adopted by an amazing family. Like I said, I couldn't have asked for better people to to do what they'd done for me. Is like one morning I woke up and I had to go training. This is when he'd stop playing me. I remember just looking in the mirror. <laughs> I mean, it sounds dramatic, but I was literally staring in the mirror and I was asking if I could retire now at 24, you know, doing the thing I love. For me, that was heartbreaking. It's always been me against myself in everything. I was winning the fight, smiling, showing that I was happy. But inside, I was definitely you know, losing the battle. Trauma is trauma and your body registers it in the same way no matter what it is. If you knew about my life, you would understand that a little bit more. I want to help other people to know that they're not alone in the feelings they've got and doesn't make you weak.